sitting in there in the moat. Okay, most places I'm, you know, I'm kind of happy about and excited to see. This one I was really hesitant to see. I mean, so we're walking through the city streets and man, it is slightly hot here again today. Walking right here, we're just walking here. And you just come right up on this thing right here. In this area. It's the hypo center right here. Right here, the fortified area. Wow. Look at this. And the, the fish in here. You wanna move my mic's up? Hey guys, bye. Bye. Say bye to the camera. Alright, sure. Bye. Alright. Thanks for coming, man. Bye. No. Hope you guys had a good time down there. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Now we've got our entourage again. Gonna be taking us down here to the subway station. Be careful there. No. Come on. Yeah. Come on, man. Up, up. All right, kids are gonna show us. Here's where we gotta get on right here. There's a ticket booth, an area. This is where we go, right? That's where we go in? Oh, boy. There we go, there we go. Bye, man. I hope you guys drive crazy. Keep your dad good. Make sure. Oh, guys. Right. Okay. Well, you say goodbye to them. All right, guys. You say goodbye to me. Disgusting. You too. You gonna take care? That's fine. All right. All right. You too. All right. So you guys take care of your dad and mom for us, okay? All right. See you guys. So we're waiting. At the, I guess this is the Fujisaki station in Fukuoka, and it's going to be taking us towards the direction of the airport. And uh, we're going to get on the Shinkansen again, and we're going to start heading out towards Hiroshima. Here it comes. Yay. Oh. Yep. It looks like it's coming from the other direction. No, it's the right one. It's coming. Yeah. Happy, that's for sure. But uh, look up here. Wow. Look at this place. There's something else. Wow. City. Finally made it to the A bomb dome right here. I'm going to look at it. The A bomb dome. This is the world famous one, which you always see in all the pictures of when the atomic bomb went off right here in Hiroshima. 
This is it right here. This is what's left of it. It didn't even really touch anything at all. You see it right here behind me. This is it. I mean, most places I'm, you know, I'm kind of happy about and excited to see. This one I was really hesitant to see. I mean, between, what, 90 to 160,000 people, even though, you know, it saved us and, 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 and ended the war. I mean, it's still, it's, it's not, it's nothing to be, you know, rejoiceful about. And, uh, you know, I come here and all that, and I just sit there going, man. Besides, you can see the you can see the scorch marks all on the wall from when it went off and when it did. But all the rubble and everything is is still here. It's like everything hasn't really been touched at all. I'm gonna go around now to the other side. And I'm gonna see the you know the, the, the famous dome that everybody knows, everybody sees. I mean, look at the pillar. How one of the pillars is just kind of bent sideways. Man. It didn't mean bent sideways and backwards. There. Mm. And you can see up there, as you can see, a, a spiral staircase which has been left. And a piece of metal is sticking out its side. You can see it right here behind me. Is the, uh, it used to be the Hiroshima Exposition Hall, what it used to be. But when you see those old pictures, you know that, and from, from the aerial view of after the A-bomb went off, and you always see that river, that river which sits right next to it. Here it is right here. There's a river. If you see right across the street right over here, right across the river, you can actually see the uh, the park. This is actually the Peace Park, it's referred to. But yeah, here's, this is the river, the whole area right here. It's the bridge going across. This is a modernized bridge now. It looks like right there. It's another part which you never really see about it. Uh, it looks like almost like it's a fountain or, or something like that, but you, whatever it is, you can tell it's been, the top portion's been completely knocked off of it. Now since we've actually gone over here and seen the actual A-bomb dome, we're going to go to the Epo Center. The Epo Center is the location where when the Enola Gay came and dropped the bomb, it didn't drop and hit the ground, it actually exploded above the city itself. And because it was, you know, above the city when it went off, it's called an epicenter. So we're gonna find the exact spot of where it was dropped. Over here crossing over the bridge, and if you look right over there, you can actually see the dome off in the distance with the river right next to it. It's a really impacting picture if you look at it. You can see the dome, what's left of the skeletal structure of it and such. Something else just sitting right there. This is the Epicenter Memorial site. After the bomb was dropped, they had all these corpses all over the place and they had to dispose of them. So a lot of the the, uh, the corpses of the area were taken to right here at this location to be cremated. And right here inside this, this is a memorial dome. Inside the dome are thousands and thousands of ashes of those who perished during the, uh, the, uh, the dropping of the A-bomb. So that's what's inside here and that's what this is. And you're seeing people all right here leaving you know, flowers, probably, probably loved ones. And around here we're looking for it. I mean, it's, so there's, there's nothing growing right now. We've got, the, we've got the mound right here. And then we've got some shrine and such, but nothing grows right here for some odd reason. Everywhere else it does. Something else looking up right here into the sky. Going over 80 or so years ago when this was dropped. You know, 1945. You know, now it's 2017. But you look up right here and that drop down and this whole place is completely vaporized. You know, and I'm standing right at the, the location where it was. It's, it's really surreal. It really is. If you look up right here, it's a sculpture. It's, it's kind of eerie in a way. It's, uh, 
block. Well, if you look at the very top, it's a complete reproduction of the atomic bomb when it was dropped. You can see it right up there, and it's yeah, kind it of just like yeah, and it's it's actually a clock, but the clock is pretty much it looks just like the atomic bomb itself. So we're walking through the city streets and man, it is stifling hot here again today. Just the sweat's running off of us. But if you're just looking through here, you've seen people going by, things like that. Got in a, like a storage area for cars. You've got a, you know, some vending machines and stuff. You've got some businesses. And then you just walk in right here. You're just walking here. And you just come right up on this thing right here. In this area. It's the Hypo Center right here. This is the direct location where uh, carried to Hiroshima from Kim Island by the Nora Gay. This is exactly where the uh, Army B-29 bomber, this is where the atomic bomb was exactly dropped. Right here, it was actually dropped 600 meters above this site. And uh, gosh, the heat rays were over 3,000 to 4,000 degrees Celsius. How much that is, I mean, break it down into Fahrenheit, but basically it just, it fried everything. And that was, uh, 8 15 a.m. August 6th of 1945. So this is it right here. You're looking straight up in the air. This is exactly where it was dropped. Right in the location, 600 meters up. there behind me that's uh this Himaji station right there where we just came from and we got to go all the ways down there I don't know if you can see it but you see the that big old white castle over there that's fine with a fishing pole and a bunch of hats around him and over here we have another lion and he's got a uh, snorkel and goggles and some umbrellas Okay, and that was a bank. <laughs> That's kind of compromising. He's sitting there playing a saxophone and he's naked. Going down the road and seeing these cute little construction markers here and they've got little happy faces with the uh, Himeji temple. temple right on them. Right on there, kind of used as being hats. It's kind of funny. Walking down here, it's got a nice cool breeze. It's not as hot as it's been. You know, you don't have that stifling heat like it was down there in uh, Hiroshima today. Man, that was stifling hot. But out here, it's got a it's got a nice breeze attached. I mean, it's still humid. It's kind of hot. I mean, I just saw some look like some European people just walking by, and they were completely soaked. I mean, just the whole thing was soaked. Their hair was soaked. I mean. They're probably out of shape. They probably weren't used to it. This might be their first day here. Whatever it was, it, it, it didn't look good. It didn't look good. Go drink some water. But uh, go have some go have some Bacari sweat. So uh, we're, we, we get to find the bus. We don't know where the bus is. The bus is going. Hey, look at that. There's the, there's the dang bus right there. See how, see how it works right there? There's the bus. There goes our bus. See that, Nathaniel? There goes our bus. I'm sitting here talking about how there's no buses. I look around the right. Just got back to Tokyo. The old Tokyo Station. Got right here. Just got off the Chica's. Then we're gonna go over and try to find where our room is located. We're gonna go to Men's Hotel. It's gonna be a sauna hotel that we go to. It's gonna be all for a capsule. It's going to be a little special for Nathaniel because he gets to have a little blessing. There it is. 
I mean, man, I'm pretty stoked. Finally found it. Finally got to it. Thing is definitely, definitely amazing. Look, you just sitting there, right there with the clouds in the backdrop. Hopefully, you can see it right there. That's amazing. Looks like we're going over a little receding bridge right here to go through the gateway of the castle itself. And you got the uh, the castle's moat over here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, look at the koi. Look at the size of these bad boys. These guys are huge. They've got to be at least three, maybe four feet long. Those are catfish. Those are, those are koi, man. Those are the biggest darn koi I've ever seen. They're, they're like they're like four feet. They're probably a mix of uh, catfish and... No. See? Then there's some colored ones right over there. Uh, Do you see the colored one? They are. Yeah. They are huge. Man, look at the size of these guys. Woo! Sitting in there in the moat. Man, man. Yep, it's got the sign I'm seeing a lot of times now. No drones, if you notice here. Yeah, they've been putting these up now. It says uh, no drones. I guess, guess we've had problems with those lately. Entryway gatehouse. Wow. Can't even explain the vastness of this castle. The thing goes all the ways across. This whole thing. The thing is massive. It's almost it's almost impossible to describe how massive this castle is over here. The Fiji Castle, I mean, gosh, it's amazing. I'm going to try to get closer to the castle grounds over here. I don't know, I don't see anywhere where we can get an entrance into there right now. I'm thinking that it's probably already closed down to gain access, but uh, you can come right over here for sure and check this all out. Ah, oh, look at this. Area right here, the fortified area. Wow, look at this! Amazing. Uh, looks like it's talking about the different types of uh, rock work right here, all through here. Looks like some of it's doing with restoration, and some of it doing with preserving it.